Hi, my name is Kelly Ansley and I'm from Kennesaw State University in Kennesaw, Georgia and I'm going to be reading A Wrinkle in Time. It's one of my favorite books from when I was younger um, and it really kind of touches home about a lot of points like how you feel alone when you're a teenager and, um, and sometimes an outsider. So chapter one, Mrs. What's It? It was a dark and stormy night. In her attic bedroom, Margaret Murray, wrapped in an old patchwork quilt, sat on the foot of her bed and watched the trees tossing in the frenzied lashing of the wind. Behind the trees, clouds scuttled frantically across the sky. Every few moments, the moon rippled through them, creating race-like shadows that raced along the ground. The house shook. Wrapped in her quilt, Meg shook. She wasn't usually afraid of weather. It's not just the weather, she thought. It's the weather on top of everything else. On top of me. On top of Meg Murray doing everything wrong. School. School was all wrong. She'd been dropped down to the lowest section in her grade. That morning, one of her teachers had said crossly, really Meg, I don't understand how a child with parents as brilliant as yours are supposed to be can be such a poor student. If you don't manage to do a little better, you'll have to stay back next year. During lunch, she'd roughed house a little to try to make herself feel better, and one of the girls said scornfully, After all, Meg, we aren't grammar school kids anymore. Why do you always act like such a baby? And on the way home from school, walking up the road with her arms full of books, one of the boys had said something about her dumb baby brother. At this, she'd thrown the books on the side of the road and tackled him with every ounce of strength she had, and arrived home with her blouse torn and a big bruise under one eye. Sandy and Dennis, her 10-year-old twin brothers, who got home from school an hour earlier than she did, were disgusted. Let us do fighting when it's necessary, they told her. 